Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I am really excited to be able to introduce you to these Day Designer products. So if you follow me, you know I've already reviewed the Day Designer flagship and their flagship mini also. But when I got the mini, they offered to let me pick some other products to review for you guys. I am genuinely excited to be able to introduce you to these very affordable and highly functional planners. I also got to pick a pen pack and these gel pens write like literally like butter. They're really an enjoyable pen to write with. So we will talk about that a little bit later too. But first I wanna get into the three planners I picked. I picked, I tried to pick, you know, one of each layout to show you guys. So this is their weekly planner that of course also has monthly spreads that is a vertical layout. And this one is of course on a small O-ring and it's a smaller size at your about five by seven, but it's actually a little bit bigger than that. It's 5.8 by 8.6. And then we have your bigger bound planner which is a horizontal weekly layout. And then we have just a monthly only planner, which is also hole punched, which is amazing for students. So if you don't need the hole punch, that's fine too. But this is a monthly only planner, but it also still has a goal section in the front and it's lined. I love monthly layouts that are lined because I'm notoriously a messy writer and I can make it look so much neater and fit more in a box if I have a box with lines. So I'm a big fan of lines. But let's get into these three planners. Let's start with this monthly only that's open right here. And this planner is an eight and a half by 11. It has a staple binding. It's only $15.99. Now let me get into where you can find these. So I was told this because I asked them because I was confused. Um, Day Designer was bought by Blue Sky. And so now things that were used to be labeled Blue Sky and Day Designer, they've kind of been rebranded to just Day Designer. So that is the reason why this doesn't say Blue Sky anymore. That's what I was told. And many of these types of products you can find in the Office Depot store and similar ones in some Target stores. I know because I've seen them in mine. So, but these exact ones I was told are in like your Office Depot stores. And you can also buy them from daydesigner.com. And I will put those links down in the description box. So this one is a monthly only. It is $15.99. And like I said, it's eight and a half by 11. All of these planners have 80 GSM paper which if you're gonna equate that to pound weight is about 53 pound paper. So their Day Designer flagship uh, has 60 pound paper, okay? And so these are at 80 GSM. Their flagship is at 90 GSM. So there's not a huge difference in paper. There is a difference and you will notice a difference, but I will show you some pen tests and I will show you how the paper does. But it, these are really great planners for their price point. I think they are priced right on and they are great options for students, for anyone, really. So it comes with this nice plastic cover, which makes it really durable. I'm gonna go ahead and take this band off so you guys can see the whole thing now, the whole front cover and what that looks like. So here's your whole front cover. It's really pretty, this blush color with gold foiling on there. And then you have this nice, really thick plastic liner. It's already three hole punched for if you wanna put it in a notebook. That's very convenient. Then you have a nameplate page right here. And then you have a, a whole year at a glance for 2018, 2019, because this is an academic calendar. And then you have a little letter from Whitney English, who was the day designer creator and founder. Then you have um, some goal setting pages. Start with the big picture, set your goals, and they of course walk you through this. So there's lots of information in here for you to read and really good guidance if you want to map out your goals on these pages. Design your days, stay on course, 
and then you go right into your month. So those are your four set of goal setting pages. And I just wanted to write a little bit in the months for you with their gel pen. So I was writing with their gel pen. It writes really nice, you guys. Super smooth. Um, a really enjoyable pen. And it's a really pretty pen. So if you were giving a gift to someone, I think that this two pen pack of gel pens is just a really nice looking gift for not that much. I will put that in here on the screen because I cannot remember. I think these pens were $9.99 for both of them, which is a bargain for a really pretty looking pen that also writes really nicely. That's a gel pen. So I, I'm a big fan of this. It is a 0.7 millimeter tip. So if you're used to um, tip sizes right there, but they're beautiful and they write just, they flow beautifully, you guys. Okay, so let's get into the layout of this, of this calendar. I will be showing you a full pen test in one of the other planners I'm reviewing because I wrote a full pen test in there. So in here, you can just see there is my writing from the page before right there. And on this page, you can see my writing is right here. There is not any terrible ghosting. There is no bleed through, but there is some ghosting and that's to be expected with 80 GSM paper equating to about 53 pounds. The paper is performing exactly how you would expect and for the price, it goes right along with the price point. So I feel like it's right in line where it should be. And if you're buying a planner of this price point, you have to expect some ghosting. That's how I feel about it. Okay. For your months, the whole calendar is done in this blush color. Every holiday is noted with an aqua flag, and then the holiday is written really small down at the bottom of the box right there. So I will try to hold it steady for you. And you have ample room in these boxes, you guys, on the 8.5 by 11 to write in. I love that it is a, it's a huge amount of room to fill out your months. I'm definitely going to try this out when it starts in July myself uh, because I love a monthly only planner that has no rings in the middle. Now, they have all kinds of options on their site. They sell monthly only with rings. They sell it without. Same with their other planners. So they, I love that they offer, you know, a bound option and a ring option. So you have, and some of them come with more notes pages in the back and some don't. So you can get on their site and check that out. You have a notes and to do section over here on your left. You have your previous months and your next months. You have a big header margin up here. So if you wanted to outline, you know, a goal you were working on for the month, or if you wanted to do some little list for the month or your top three for the month, there's definitely room up here, but you also have room in these extra boxes that would go into the next month down here. So you do have some room there also. There, this calendar is a Sunday start. If you guys follow Day Designer, and then you know that their uh, monthly layout and their flagship Day Designer is a Monday start. But this, they are going back, this is your typical, this is your Sunday start calendar. So that's definitely something to note there. I like how any holidays in the month really stand out because they have that little aqua flag. And so you can real quick look over August and see that there's no holidays. So your months just go back to back, right after one another, and you can see how those holidays stand out to you then. And so you're gonna go through an entire year of months right here. Every month is the same colors and nothing changes there. This is July 2018 through June 2019 academic year. When you have a month with five weeks and you need to split a day, they have split it uh, horizontally like that, which I really prefer versus the vertical triangle because I never feel like I can write anything in a triangle. So if my day, if my month days have to be split, I much prefer it to be split vertically like that so I can write in it. You have all your days noted like the first day of summer, flag day, father's day, all those typical days that are noted on the US calendars. And then this particular planner just ends only with one notes page. But like I said, they have lots of different options in these planners I am showing you. This is a very thin option. It's a very affordable option for a high school student 
or anyone that you just need a monthly only calendar and you don't need much more with it. And if you need it to go in a notebook, it's hole punched for that. But if you don't, those holes don't get in the way at all. They won't bother me at all. Of course, I don't need mine to go in a notebook and it won't bother me at all. So this is staple bound, but it seems like it's gonna hold together really well. So I think this is a great option if you need a monthly only book. All right, let's go into this weekly book that is a horizontal spread. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. This weekly horizontal is called the Blush Lizard because it has that texture, like a lizard skin. This is called the large one. It's eight by 10. It's $24.99 and it is a sewn book. And then you also have a ribbon page marker. So we will show all that, but this is a sewn book with a ribbon page marker. It is not too thick at all. It's very lightweight. It feels very lightweight and portable to go in a backpack. This is super lightweight and portable because no rings. Of course, they have these same layouts in a ring option also. So that's an option if you guys prefer the rings. For things to go in backpacks, I always prefer no rings, but that's just really a personal preference. Okay, you have your nameplate page for all your personal information and just really pretty pink stripes in there. It just looks fresh and pretty. They've picked a really good blush color. Then you have your reference calendars for year at a glance, 2018, 2019. Once again, this is the same academic year. You have the same letter from Whitney English, the day designer creator, and you have the same goal setting pages. So I'm not gonna go through those again. You have the very same goal setting pages as your monthly only that we went over. Then your month looks the same as your monthly only, except this book is a tad bit smaller than that one. That book was eight and a half by 11. This book is eight by 10. And then you have your same layout, your to-do notes, your last month, your next month. Everything's the same as the monthly book I just showed you on the months. And what they do in this academic, even though it doesn't start until July, I love that they give you the months, just the month layouts, not the week layouts, of May and June. And then they start into July when you start. So you get two extra months here if you want your month layouts and to give it a start but your weeks don't start until July. So they give you May and June, then you go into July, and then you start your weeks right here at the end of June because you start July 1st on a Sunday. So they give you that whole week to wrap up June. This is what your horizontal spread looks like in this weekly planner. You have this week's top three. I am a huge fan of that, you guys. I love to have a, like a top three of my week to know three things that must get done that week. I love how they have the three boxes up there. I'm a huge fan of that. They do have another margin up here if you just wanna make some more lists because there really is no other space for notes or lists for the week on the page because then you have your days really have a big chunk. Your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday all have the same amount of room. You can pretty much organize it any way you want because they've left it open to your interpretation and I really like that. So you could put appointments on this side and to-dos on this side because you have your tick off boxes. But if you didn't have any appointments, you can definitely use this side however you want. It could be more to-dos or it could be keeping track of your fitness and food or it could be keeping track of your um, kids activities. So basically without it being outlined what to put where, I actually love that because it leaves it more open and versatile to how your life is. Then you do have to look that Saturday and Sunday are split and you have a much smaller space and you have basically half the amount of space that you have on the normal weekdays. So this would be a really good planner for a student or for someone who is in an office job and they're in fact only gonna use this planner for their work for the week because you don't have much weekend room. All right, so let's look at the pen test. I did all my normal pens. I even did, you know, flare pens, um, Erin Condren dual tip markers, Sharpie pens. I did a mild liner highlighter. So, and I like to use all different colors of pens to show you. When you turn the page, you can see 
from there that you can see that there is some writing on the other page. There really is no bleed through. The highlighter, you can definitely see where the highlighter is. So you may not want to be using highlighter all over this paper. Um, what I noticed is the flare tip pens, like the fine liner type of pens, um, they give a little bit more ghosting than just a normal pen. So if I was writing with this paper, I would pick just like a normal gel tip pen rather than I wouldn't pick like a dark paper mate flare type of pen, but that's just me. So that is what the ghosting situation looks like again on 80 GSM paper, which equates to 53 pounds. There you go, you guys. I like to make sure that you can see that. I mean, for the price, it's not bad paper, in my opinion. It's just, you pick, you know, how much you can spend on a planner, and that is what kind of paper you generally get for that price. And I think this one's right on with the pricing. So you have to be okay with some ghosting in it. All right, so that is your weekly layout. It basically just goes through your weeks. When you get to your next month, so here, right here, July ends, when you have July 29th, so they're gonna carry over July to the next week. They still keep a whole weekly spread per page. So when a week ends, though, when the month is gonna change, they just throw in your monthly right there, and then you go back into your following weeks, and you just keep going like that. When there is a holiday on these weeks, it is denoted with a flag, just like on the monthly, and the holiday is written in right there, really small, under the date. I like how it's written in very small, so it doesn't take up much of the room of your day at all. It's not even taking up a line, but it's still noted with a flag, so you can definitely see it's there. Okay, I wanna flat flip to the very end here and show you guys that this planner actually comes with quite a few note pages. So I would say there's like 20 or so note pages in here. You have a good chunk of note pages. It is just lined and says notes at the top with the flag with the really pretty blush diagonal lines up there. So you have room to take plenty of notes in this planner. And then that's the end. Your end pages are the pretty blush stripe again, like the front. And you have this black and white ribbon page marker, which I think is really nice that they threw it in. Definitely handy for this type of book. So that is their horizontal layout. Let's look at their vertical layout. And like I said, do not think that the horizontal layout only comes in this book in this size. It also comes in a spiral band, and I believe even in different sizes. Same with the vertical layout. So the vertical layout, I just picked a smaller book. So they have all different options. Definitely look on their website if you're interested in one. This is the vertical layout. This book is five, 8 by 8.6. It is $15.99. This book has 59 note pages in the back. So it has a lot of note pages. It comes with a bookmark and a sticker sheet even. All of that for $15.99. So I'm going to take this off. This one is called the Weekly Vertical Planner Notes. So when they have on there the notes option, that means it comes with a lot of note pages. And this one has 59 note pages. This is the Gold Spotty. So let's take a look. It has a really, really tough cover on here to protect your planner, but still looks really nice. I love the gold spotty with the blush. It's really fun, it's really cute. Their O-ring is the perfect size. If you follow me, you know that having huge rings when you don't need a huge ring is a pet peeve of mine. I love this tiny ring. It's matte gold. It looks great and it functions perfectly, you guys, perfectly. I mean, you can just whip that whole book around. This is a really portable size and easy to write in with the spiral. So I can see why this would be a favorite of a lot of people. It's a great size. It's tiny and compact, yet big enough where you do feel like you can fit stuff in the squares for the months. You get tabs. They're all done in blush. Let's get into, let's go from the front here. Okay, so you have your nameplate page, your personal information. It comes with the same ruler that comes in your Day Designer flagship planner. 
So if you watched my review of that, then you know the flagship planner has started coming with a ruler. And it's a nice ruler. It works well. And I love that they added it in to the, even this really inexpensive planner. For $15.99, you get a ruler. And it looks really nice. And it functions well. It definitely turns you to your page. It's very thin, so it shouldn't mess up your writing. And it snaps in and out like a breeze. So that's just a super nice option, I think, for this price of planner. Right here in the front, you have your 2018-2019 calendar year at a glance. That's on the back of the nameplate page. Then you get two pages for $15.99. These same stickers come with your Day Designer flagship planners now. And I can't believe that for the price, they added into this planner also. I think that's just, it's a nice extra. It's a nice little perk. Everybody loves to get some, you know, metallic gold foiled stickers in their planner. So they have hearts and stars, they have little appointment markers, they have flags, they have hexagons, and it's two pages that are identical, but you get double the stickers. Then you have a little cardstock pocket. It's just white, and both sides you have a pocket. It's, it's just a functional pocket. It's nice to have a pocket in your planner to be able to stick something in. I always find myself needing a pocket in any planner I have. And when a planner doesn't have a pocket, I do miss it personally because there's always a time I need to stick something in a pocket. So it's nice to have that there. You have the same letter from Whitney English and you have your same four steps to setting your goals and staying on course. Then you get the same extra months in this planner. Even though this is an academic year and it does not start till July 2018 and it runs through June 2019, you get two extra monthly spreads thrown in. So you get May... 2018 thrown in and June 2018 thrown in just in case you want to start it early then you have your tab it starts on that June page and you go right into your month of July holidays are marked the exact same way in this planner you have a smaller note section you still have your margins at the top you can use and your months of course are still all their months in these are lined to write on I like though how they're really light dotted lines so it's not like these dark, harsh lines, but it gives you a guide to be able to write on. So you can definitely write straighter, more neatly, and fit more in the monthly box, in my opinion, when there's lines. At least I can. Then this is what your weekly layout is going to look like in here. And here is I just wrote with the Day Designer gel pen for you guys. And we already did the pen test, though, on the same paper in the other planner. But there's what it looks like written on on the other page. However, it is the same paper in all these planners. So let's go over the weekly layout. So first of all, you get your week of, and they write it out for you, June 25th through July 1st, 2018. Then every single day is labeled with the full date. Monday, June 25th. Tuesday, June 26th. I actually just love that because... My brain just loves to not have to think very much. And I love when they're telling me the day of the week and the exact date just spelled out like that. You have today's top three at the top of your vertical spread, which I am always a huge fan of. You have a Monday start, which is typical, you know, in weekly spreads, even though they have the Sunday start on your monthly layout. So that's, that's typical. So you have your top three. And then you have today's schedule. It goes from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Of course, you can use this for timed appointments or you can make it your own and just use it for to-do lists. So you don't necessarily have to use it for timed appointments. I like how the times are written much lighter in a really light gray color. So they're kind of not taking over the line if you didn't want to use it for timed appointments. Then you have a tonight box at the bottom, which of course... You could use for anything you want. You could use it for dinner. You could use it for your workout. You could use it for recording or tracking whatever you need to. It's just a division in your day. And then you do have Saturday and Sunday divided. And you just have lines. So you do have half the space for Saturday and Sunday. Once again, I think it would make a great planner for someone who's using it for only work. Um, or for someone who doesn't have a huge amount of things to schedule on their weekends. 
you still get your same little flag and your holiday is written really small. I love how they don't try to take up a huge space of your day to write your holiday in. It's still there. You still know what's going on, but it's written very small. And I truly appreciate that. Okay, so that is your vertical layout for the week. It just repeats itself. Then when like this uh, July 29th ends right here, so you start your next month, August, and then you finish out July and start into August that week. And that's how this whole planner runs. Now what makes this one a little bit different is when you get to the very end, you have a big tab section labeled notes. And you have a huge amount of notes. You have 59 note pages, y'all. So some of their planners are labeled a notes planner. So you can look for those on their site. And they have 59 notes pages. That's a lot of notes pages. I love how it has its own tab. I love how you can scribble down any notes you need to and you will always know where to go and find it. Then you have a holiday list at the back, which I always appreciate in a planner. They have outlined all the major holidays here in the US and then they have 2018, 2019, 2020, and 21. So they are going way ahead. Even though this planner only goes till June of 2019, you have all those holidays lined out. I guess they just figured they had enough room on the page to do it. So why not go ahead and give it to you? I like their little um, slogan or mantra of live well, laugh often, love much. This is life well designed. So this is from your day designer. And then you just, you end with your gold spotty again. Really pretty and cute. And I just love that they give you a really functional planner at a price point that most people can all afford or at a price point that they don't mind spending on their middle school daughter or their high school daughter. So once again, this one is $15.99. This one is $24.99. And the monthly only is $15.99, also being bigger. And like I said, I love the pens in these planners. They write just really smoothly. I do not have the neatest handwriting. You guys know that if you follow me. But these pens are a joy to write with. They just, they flow. They just, they flow on the page really well. So to write cursive, or if you're trying to write a journal, I know my sister keeps a journal that she just, it's her own personal one that no one else would ever see, but she just likes it to just dump everything out. All her feelings, all her thoughts or troubles or thinking through things. And she said she loves a pen that flows really fast on the page because she writes really fast in there, you know, a mix of maybe cursive and print and doesn't pay any attention to how it looks because it is simply therapeutic to get it out on the page. And this would be a pen that just, it really just flows, like just flows on the page. And once again, I think it's a really nice gift for anyone, especially for a teacher. So there are the day designer pens. Okay, guys, let me know down below if you have used these day designer uh, planners before. I would love to know how you liked them. I love to know if you're using them now and happy planning. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.